Yo, what's up everybody? I've got a fun one today. The guy that I just did the big copper bar for, the eight and a half pounder, uh, they do a lot of recycling. Well, he came up to me today when I dropped off the bar, or it, actually it was yesterday, and he said he had some contact switches. So you can see these are the kind of contact switches that I keep when I scrap stuff out. Uh, a lot of scrappers find contact switches like this. These are the contact switches that guy gave me today. <laughs> Good gravy. Whole bucket of them. So what I'm going to do is uh, get my torch and try to sweat these off. And then there's a lot of them that it's just one big contact switch. So that should be a type of silver. So I'm going to try to get off as much junk as I can and then uh, at some point melt all of this uh, silver type material into a bar and give it to them. There's another nice, nice chunk. But these are the ones that I've got to torch and uh, get these round pieces off of. There's a bunch of them. Here's a smaller one that has some uh, square ones on it. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Hang tight, let's do it. Good googly moogly. So these are all his contact switches. Man, that, that's just massive. Um, I'm going to separate these into three different piles. This is all stuff I don't have to do anything to. It's just ready to melt. And this is going to be a pile where I need to melt some residue off of there. And then this is stuff where I still have to get the whole, the whole thing off. But man, these are like legit. So I won't bore you with this. I'll throw this on fast forward and uh, get through this. So I've never done this before, so let's see how this goes. It's only held on by solder, and that's got a pretty low melt point, but she ain't coming off yet. Well, what the heck? <sighs> Gonna go through a lot of propane if it takes this much. Let's see how this one works. What the heck? Oh, come on. This is baloney. Hmm. Okay, so that's not working. I gotta go to plan B. Which I don't know what plan B is yet. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can melt some of this old uh, old solder off of a piece. chunk of something fell off of it try and find another one that uh, has a lot on it <laughs> look how I can smack it off and it comes off in a ball it didn't all come off though we'll do one more this one has a bunch on it Okay, so that wasn't great. Good thing we have all of this stuff. And you know what? I'm going to turn on my electric furnace and we're going to try to melt it. He also gave me a bunch of uh, copper pins. I'm going to try to melt these, not copper, 
they're gold looking pins uh, they came out of equipment don't know how much gold content there is in it but figure what the heck I'll melt it see what happens can't hurt okay so we got the electric uh, forge turned on and this is all the stuff that we could melt I'm gonna put I don't know, a couple of handfuls in there that should make a bar and then we'll pour it and see what the heck comes out I have no idea okay so you guys probably can't see this but uh, it, it is set for 975 C and it's at 260 right now so I think I'm gonna do is put some of these pieces in right now and let them warm up as this thing's warming up and then hopefully start melting small pieces Maybe having metal in here will uh, help it to heat up faster. We'll see. So that's good for now. Let's see what that does. Okay, just about 100 degrees away from where we want to be. Let's check it out. Ooh, it's getting red in there. Something's burning. All right. Okay. We're at temp. That doesn't mean it'll be melted, but it means it should start melting. If it's going to at all. Alright. Come on, suck a melt. Okay, these kind of ovens, you got to give them time. But I keep checking her out. It's like a big in there it's not melting okay it is officially plan B time because I got everything out of here close that because it wasn't melting got super hot but did not melt so I got my uh, crucible outside or my devil forge and we're gonna fire in the hole this sucker gonna melt it one way or the other I mean it, it, it at the worst it's copper and if that's the case I can melt copper in that thing yeah it's like man didn't even come close and I've melted silver in this before so either this isn't silver or something I don't know but it's definitely something and then we're gonna go put this out here I mean kind of drizzly but I don't think it's raining right now <sighs> let's fire this sucker up This thing doesn't stand a chance now. Whatever it is. So that material has been in there for a long time. Uh, I'm going to say 15 minutes. I mean, if it was copper, it'd be melted already. Um, copper melt point is 1,985, 86 degrees, close to 2,000. When you're pulling it out of the forge, your, your stuff is over 2,000 degrees. I've got this thing cranked up higher than what I would do for melting copper. And it still isn't melting. So it's I 
I mean, with silver being 200 degrees less than copper, there's no way this is silver. Uh, so I don't know what it is. I mean, there's a green flame. This makes you think there's some copper in it. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to pour it into this and uh, it's probably not going to be liquid and so chunks are going to come out and stuff but nothing else I could do and that is hot too oh my gosh that's pretty much blinding Yeah, it's all still in chunks after all that heat. So the little bit of liquid that did come out was probably, um, I don't know what do you call it, solder. But look at this, after all that heat, this didn't even begin to melt. That's interesting. You know, I'm kind of bummed because I wanted to be pouring something. So, I think I'm gonna load a crucible up with copper. Yeah, add a brick to my wall downstairs. Got the thing heated up. Now that was in there for 15 minutes, a good 15 minutes at least. I'm gonna put this in there with a melt point of around 2000 degrees. And I'll get back to you. I'll turn this thing back on when uh, it's starting to melt. I'm going to give it about seven minutes. And I'm going to turn it way down too to where I normally have it. Stuff is like molasses, taffy, whatever you want to call it. It's because of the coating that was on that copper wire in the welder. It's like, um, yeah, you know, I don't know what it is. Wax or something? That's kind of how it feels, but that's what you get. You cannot scoop it out of there. Oh man, it's pretty full actually. That's hardened up. Let's see if we have enough for one skull here. Ugh. Bottom of the barrel. Not enough of a skull. It's not totally full, but 
that's not bad. All right. Well, that wasn't an ideal melt. Couldn't get the first stuff to melt. This stuff was a pain, and then being so dark makes it hard to see, but. Got another brick for the wall. With a big round spot in the middle. Well, I tried to do something quick and easy with my electric forge. That didn't end up working. So we uh, called an audible and melted something anyway. So I um, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, got something really nice out of it though. This is a, this bar is a three pounder. A little over three pounds so I'll get that on my wall the skull looks nice too so all right that's it peace peace peace